I'm Pastor George Borkhart, and this is another Higher Things Video Short. Dare to be Lutheran. That's the subject of today's Higher Things Video Short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on that faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get our app. It's available on all major platforms. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift to Higher Things keeps us filling the ears of youth all around the world with the saving power of Jesus. His forgiveness saves. All right, the last day of our celebration of our birthday in Higher Things brings us to the, the, the phrase, Dare to be Lutheran. One of our most popular videos, you can find the link in the description, and you'll see a younger version of me and a beard. Something's wrong with that. But the words dare to be Lutheran, trademark, but higher things are not, it, first of what it is, to dare someone to be Lutheran is to dare them to believe that salvation is by Jesus alone, that is, by grace alone, received by faith alone, and all of this must come from scripture alone. It's not them to dare them to be more Lutheran than someone else or to be snootier than someone else. It's not to say that all Lutherans are saved or that no one is saved apart from the Lutheran church. None of that's true. What is true is salvation is by grace alone, received by faith alone, from scripture alone. That God does not treat sinners as their, as their sins deserve or harbor anger forever, but he sets all our sins on, on his son. Lutherans were the first evangelicals. They were first called evangelicals by the Roman Catholics. They were gospelers. They were concerned with the salvation of sinners the comfort of troubled consciences. And you can know Lutherans by that reoccurring theme, that they are most concerned with sinners receiving comfort, that the sinner not be left on the hot seat, that they not be left not knowing whether they're in or out, saved or not, that the law is used in service of the gospel. The law is used to drive us and to kill us to Christ, where Jesus raises us from the dead in the word, that everything, Everything about our faith rests from Scripture, flows from Scripture. That's what it means to be dare to dare to someone to be Lutheran, dare to believe that in a world that says otherwise. And I think we need to dare our young people to be Lutheran because we need to challenge them to confess their faith, to stand and say that I'm a gospelizer. I care about the forgiveness of sins achieved by Jesus on the cross. That's what scripture tells me to do. In a world where they're dared to be celibate or dared to be, um, to, to, to display their righteousness on social media, to, to virtue signal, here, dare to confess that you're a sinner. Dare to confess that you're lost without Jesus. And then dare to confess that Jesus alone saves you. Dare to stand only on the word of God and not what you think or don't think. Dare. Dare to believe what you've been taught in catechism and dare to confess it before men. And this is not to say that only Lutherans are saved. Anyone can dare to be Lutheran. Um, to dare to be Lutheran is to dare to be a Christian who believes that salvation is by grace alone, received by faith alone from scripture alone. What about our desire to sort of get away from denominational titles and to sort of lose that? Well, okay, but sooner or later, you're going to have to confess something. And when you confess that salvation is by grace alone, received by faith alone, from scripture alone, you might know, not know it. You might not care. You might not even realize you're doing it, but you're daring to be a Lutheran because that's what Lutheranism is all about. Salvation by grace alone, that is by Jesus alone, received by faith alone, from scripture alone. That's what it means to dare to be Lutheran. And if we want our kids to grow up in this faith, to cherish this faith, and I want my kids to do this, I don't want my kids to run around not knowing if they're saved or not. I don't want my kids running around not knowing if God loves them or not. I don't want my kids going through the, 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 the spiritual anxiety and search that I went through as a high school student not knowing if God cares. Skip all of that. And let's just train our kids to hold dear the faith that we're teaching them in church, that salvation is by Jesus alone, received by faith alone, from scripture alone. And then, 
And then we won't be shocked when they hold that deer, when they, when they want to have that faith, when they want to pass on that faith. Because if we put good Christian virtue and, 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 and doctrine into the, their ears, if we put good Lutheran teachings in their ears, they won't depart from it. They'll hold it dear. Because good Christianity in means good Christianity out. Daring to be Lutheran is, is daring to be Christian. Daring to be Lutheran is daring to believe that salvation is by grace alone, through faith alone, from Scripture alone. Daring to be Lutheran is daring to believe what you've heard in church, what you've said in the creed, what you've sung in the liturgy, and what you've memorized in the catechism. Dare to be Lutheran means dare to believe that Jesus alone saves you. And for 20 years, we've been telling kids, have a blast while you do it. Be joyful as you confess Jesus before others, before men, before all. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.